I've been a little upset because I haven't had a chance to Christmas shop. Because I've been stressing about Christmas gifts. Ah, the pressure is on, guys. Oh, man, I am not sure what to get Tanya. I think I have spotted Tanya. I have no idea what to truly get him for this, but I will tell you this. You know how I roll it off. It is definitely chilly up here in the mountains. We're in the beautiful area of Lake Tahoe, California in the winter, and we're staying in this luxury mountain cabin in the snow. This cabin is in Truckee, California. Now, Truckee is known during this time of year to be just an incredible Christmas town. So not only are we going to give you a full tour of this amazing luxury mountain cabin, which has some of the most advanced features we've ever seen in a mountain cabin, but we're gonna head into Truckee and explore everything it has to offer during the winter. Now I have to say, Tanya has been pretty upset recently because we've just been so busy. We've had no chance to do Christmas shopping. So today in Truckee, it really gives us a perfect opportunity to go Christmas shopping. So we're definitely gonna split up. We're gonna take you along with us. I have no doubt it's gonna be pretty interesting. Tis the season. I am so excited to be checking out this Christmas town in Truckee. I'm not sure if Dave told you, but I've been a little upset because I haven't had a chance to Christmas shop. So this is going to be exciting. And then he says there's something special planned for tonight. So I am uh, excited. Oh, and uh, look at this. How cute is this Christmas sweater? It's my only one. So you'll probably see it multiple days. Just, just warning you. <laughs> So our means of transportation to downtown Truckee is this ginormous compa. So we are hoping that we can find a truck camper. So we're hoping we can find some parking in the historic downtown area of Truckee. I, th I think we should, what do you think? Optimistic, baby, optimistic. <laughs> That's how we roll. <laughs> Oh, it looks like there's a lot of options. Look at all those shops over there. All up and down the row, all up and down here. There's quite a few shops. I'm very excited. I think I'll find something special. Now I gotta say this, parking the truck camper is a breeze. Definitely easier, you know, it's smaller, a little bit narrower than desert snow. So we actually fit it right into a street spot right here. Voila! Hold the fort, the fort. Hold the fort. You hold the fort. Hold the fort. So I've already walked along the strip here, and I, I, I'll tell you, there's certain things that caught my eye that I think would capture Dave's as well. I have no idea what to truly get him for this, but I will tell you this, wherever something's calling me to walk in, I'm gonna walk in, and if it has Dave's name all over it, I'm getting it. Ah, the pressure is on, guys. Oh man, I am not sure what to get Tanya. I do gotta say though, there's a lot of cool looking stores, and I'm really looking for jewelry. Tanya loves you know, handmade, very unique jewelry pieces. So there's some places in here I definitely want to check out. Fingers crossed I can find the perfect thing. All right, so I think I may have found, thank you. I think I may have found a really cool shop for Dave. Something about this vibe, I, even the hats, the flannels, the shirts, I'm just calling my name here. So let's see what we can find. Hmm, so I found another area of shirts. I have a lovely, lovely, assistant here who's helping me find something really fabulous for Dave. Yes. We've already found one. I think he's really gonna like the color of this one. Very and I think, nice. And I think the quality feels, you know how I roll, y'all. Nice, quality. high quality cotton. I like that, thank yes. you. Yes, good. So one more, what do you think? One of my favorites is this solid green, they call this serpent. Oh, See how it kind of, kind of iridescent? Yeah. This is a beautiful color. Okay, shirt. I like this one. And love the color, it's one of his color favorites. Color's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, that was easy. That was really easy. Ooh, we up. like that one. And there's a <laughs> See, the magic has definitely drawn me in the right direction. So, I didn't catch your name. I'm Stephanie. Stephanie has told us that we are actually oh, in wow. the oldest establishment here awesome. in the area, 1906. 1906. That's amazing. It's in the same, same family. In the same family, which nice. we know we love supporting that local family vibe. So Thank this you. is exciting. Hi, Thank nice you. So the bad news is I have not bought anything yet. It's starting to get dark. Now the good news is that I've seen a whole bunch of things and I'm, I've been trying to narrow down and decide exactly what I'm gonna buy. And actually in this uh, shop behind me here, 
They have, they have a lot of a lot of cool things, but one thing that Tanya loves is really kind of soothing aromas, like soothing skin softeners, things like that. They're all natural. They have a whole section there on that. I'm gonna take a gamble and pick up a couple things in there, and hopefully, almost like more like stocking stuffer kind of stuff. Hopefully, she likes it. And the section I was talking about is right over here. And I, I could definitely use folks' help. I was thinking about this right here. It's a spray, kind of a room spray called Serenity Lavender and Chamomile. I know Tanya loves both of those, like lavender and chamomile, and she loves spraying the room with this kind of soothing aromas. So I am gonna give that one a shot. Called eight days, and I hope she likes it. And then this other one too, right over here. It's a skin hydrating called Dew, skin hydrating serum. And I know Tanya's always putting that on. So those, these are kind of the stocking stuffer items. So what do you guys think? Hopefully it's a good choice. Hopefully Tanya likes it. And another big bonus is that they are wrapping the both of those for a gift so I can avoid the wrapping so that's a good thing that's a thumbs up I think he's going to really like these here but I gotta pick up a few more things just because I feel a little tardy to the party with Christmas shopping I gotta make it extra special so maybe one more shot let's see what's calling our name okay this is the store right here so let's moment of truth let's go in and see if we can find right. that who's next album First off, loving it. Heading to the basement where all the records are found. Yay! All right, so I have found the rock section. Here we are. Moment of truth. Can we find it? Can we find it? W. It's over here. All right, open it up. Joe Walsh. Maybe they put it under the for the who. Oh no, they might not have it. So far, I'm not seeing anything here. I'll have to ask to find out to see if they have it, but I don't see it here. No. Well, at least I tried. I think we struck out. So I did not see the Who album here. So that's one. If I had more time, I would have totally had it ordered. It just popped into my head as I'm walking past this place that I wish I could have found something for him here. But there's always a birthday. All right, well, you know what? I am happy. I think he's really gonna like what I got him here. At least I hope he does. It's always one of those things when you're shopping last minute and some of you that shop last minute know what I'm talking about. You just hope you find something that whomever you're shopping for likes. Well, he's gonna like it. Okay, now it's time for the big one. Now behind me is a jeweler called Bluestone Jewelry. They're a local family-owned jeweler and they, they produce a lot of you know, handmade jewelry here and some things I thought looked really amazing. I have my eye on something in here, which I think is really special. I'm gonna share with you guys. Hope you guys like it. Hope Tanya loves it. These pieces down here, I think they're really cool. They're all shaped, if you can make that out, they're all shaped, basically Lake Tahoe, locally designed Lake Tahoe. And you can see some actually have an emerald for Emerald Bay, which I think is super cool. So you have this amazing stone with diamonds around and emeralds. Yeah, so this one right here looks incredible. If you can kind of tell me about it, I really appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. These are our original designs. We're a family owned business here. We've been around for 15 years. Uh, these guys are what I call our fancy Tahoes. They are uh, white gold, yellow gold, rose gold, and diamonds. This particular one you see is a hydra blue topaz. It's a unique stone to our store. It has uh, no inclusions to it, so it looks like a drop of our lake water inside the pendant. Uh, some of them have backings and some of them don't, so you can see the clarity of the stone or the depth of the lake. Um, we also have little emerald bays, uh, or emeralds in the location of Emerald Bay, which is a really uh, special part I of I think that's Tahoe, so cool. So. That's so cool. Yeah. Because this, so. like, this is actually, time is my first time up here. We're awesome. going to be here for Christmas. I figured this is like a special... Absolutely. Another great memory. I think yeah. that to me, I think I love that. I think that's beautiful. Wonderful. And I think we should. You want to go with that, that one? Absolutely. And would you wrap that? Do you have, I'd be happy to wrap that. That'd be wonderful. You. Yep. You great. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Have a Merry Christmas. All right. Merry Christmas. See you. Bye bye. Thank you. That's a wrap. So I'm pretty excited to, to give this a tiny. I think there's some really, really special gifts. But it is time for dinner. I gotta, I gotta catch back up with Tanya because we have dinner reservations that uh, it's getting pretty close to. I think I have spotted Tanya. She's actually over at this amazing Christmas tree. Going to get across here. Tanya's taking a photo of some folks. Hey, Tanya, nice job. Hi, thank How are you, you doing? See, I use my little professionalism to help. The Christmas spirit is in the building. I'm yes. so excited. Oh, oh my God. So, so you... excited. I'm excited too. I'm excited. It's I'm gonna excited be... because I can't believe last minute shopping so quickly. I think I found the perfect gift for you. Uh, yeah, I, I'm excited to share the gifts I got for yeah. you too. And I feel like Truckee is a, is a really nice Christmas town. It is such a beautiful, and I love this. Look at this tree before we have to head to dinner because we're gonna be late. Look yeah, at this here for dinner. dinner. Yeah. Look at this tree. 
Oh, it's so festive, right? Yeah, look at that. Oh, I blend right in, don't you I? You do. I look like a Christmas ornament on exactly, the Exactly, without the lights. <laughs> <laughs> So Dave's got the Holy Spirit. Ready? Okay, here we go. Holy Spirit, activate. Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit activate. activate. What am I supposed Holy to do? Holy Spirit, activate. Have you been naughty or nice? I'm not Dave been that naughty question. or nice? It depends on how many gifts he's getting. Okay, well, I'm, I guess, al I'm always naughty. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no gifts for you. Sorry. What, baby? I found a spot here. Oh, put awesome. our sticker, and it's empty, so I'm not going over someone. I found the purpose right there. Hopefully it stays. It's a good sticker, it will. Gotta get all the bubbles out there of it. There it is. All the bubbles are out. There it is. That looks cool oh, right there. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. All right, so I have to say this. If you are coming to truck and you see that sticker, take a picture of yourself with that sticker pointing to it so we know it's you. The first five folks that will do that will send you some Turn It Up World merch. Mm. Where's that sticker? One more time. You gotta find it. One more time. And it's right by a restaurant called Old Town Tap Pizzeria. The first five. Find them. I don't know, babe, I am so hungry. Are you starving? I am, and it looks like we made it right on time, actually. Fellas, this looks yes. cool. It does not look too busy yet. I think we just got one of the early reservations. Because we like early reservations. We do. <laughs> It's gonna be nice and warm inside, I hope. I'm so hungry. Me too. Toast to my wonderful husband. This has been an amazing day, and I'm sure we're gonna have an amazing night, and I'm so happy. Oh. I got some good stuff for you. Thanks, babe. It's my amazing, my amazing life. Love you so much, Tony. Love you so much. Yay, cheers. cheers. Mm. Oh, that tastes good. That hit the spot. Mm. I'm looking forward to dinner tonight. Babe, I gotta say, I love the vibe in here. Right? Chill. Very, Very chill. chill. Like, the team is great. Yeah, so as we always say, that is like, the food can be phenomenal, but the team sucks, the food's gonna be terrible. <laughs> exactly. This, this right. Start. And I love how the, the menu is very focused, right? You have basically like four, three or four items in each category, whether it's like a starter or the main dish size, right? So it's not overwhelming, no. which is great. So, you know, they kind of really focus on it. They talk about, like on the website, it says, soulful, locally sourced. Oh, you right? had me soulful. Exactly, right? <laughs> so I'm excited. So, like they mentioned before, the, the menu's simple, but I love what they had on there. So, for the starters, we're getting the toasted egg plant dip, whipped tahini, salsa verde, sunflower seeds, and that house-made focaccia. The eyes for our host just went like this when she told us about it, so we had to get that. I'm going with the hamachi for a starter. Dave's getting with the little gym sun-dried tomatoes, you'll see all that as it comes. And of course, we both had to go for the Alaskan cod and uh, the fingerlings. Now Dave's gonna go out there and show you guys, gonna give us a quick sneak peek. You know, Chef Jesse's really gonna turn it up for us tonight. Very excited. We have our house-made toasted eggplant dip Ooh. and our awesome. house-baked focaccia bread. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Mmm, already starting. Time to get the party started. <laughs> It's very good. I love the bread. The focaccia is super soft. It's warm, doughy. Eggplant, that cool freshness to it. The crunch from the sunflower seed in there. It's very good, Dave. I think you are actually gonna like this. The eggplant is not overpowering. It actually complements the focaccia very well. <laughs> All right, first reaction for a person who doesn't like eggplant. I gotta say, babe, now, you know I'm not an eggplant person at all, but I don't know, minced up like this and all with all the ingredients mixed together and that great focaccia bread. I mean, it is, this is very good. What'd you think of the whipped tahini on that? I actually, I liked everything. The whole bite was perfect. Everything kind of blended together nicely. See? Nothing was like overpowering. It was just, just right. Just, just right. right. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I'm pretty good shape. I gotta give you guys a follow. So. Yes, that'd be yeah. great. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I'd love to see, see this stuff. Yeah, thank you so awesome. much. Hey, babe, are you excited? I'm very excited. I'm like looking at this like, <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. There's so much flavor just coming off this plate. I'm just gonna grab and devour. How's that sound? Uh, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> 
have to say it's very good. I love yellowtail. I think the flavor, it's tender in texture. The mandarin really pops out of this. There's the crunch that you get from the little bit of our ingredients that are wrapped around that. The sauces just blend perfectly. And the avocado, it's just, it's almost like a hidden soft texture in there. You don't really taste the avocado pop like you would normally. But it just has that buttery texture to it, which in my opinion just, it's very good. And of course, Dave's favorite. These cute little, little tiny mushrooms. Dave's favorite. Mushrooms. Your favorite. I love the presentation of this, right? With the little gems, the sun dried tomatoes. And that, that lemon anchovy dressing, that's definitely something I caught my interest. I definitely want to try. Should I dive right in, babe? Oh, sure. It's almost like their version of a Caesar salad. Right? I'm jumping right in. Mmm. Mmm. I love the anchovy dressing. You know, it's, I was a little worried that maybe it was going to be too lemony. It is not at all. It's, it's really a perfect kind of mix with the lemon and the anchovy. It's great flavor. And it, it's funny, when we came in here and the general, we talked to Casey, the general manager, and he talked about how this is kind of like California mountain fare. And this, this is definitely kind of makes me think about that kind of mountain and also kind of that California vibe. I mean, this is, this is good. You're going to definitely like it, Ben. So first we uh, brine our locally caught black cod, brine it in a mirin salt brine, and then we get the pan hot, we fire roast it in our hearth oven with some smoked cabbage. We finish it with a little bit of yuzu blanc, uh, some smoked malden, and then some beautiful wasabi mizuna that I personally pick out from the farmer's market every week, as well as some radishes and a little bit of shiso oil. Love fingerlings, crispy potato and sauce. Love them. <laughs> so, like I said, the uh, greens, it's like my, one of my favorite greens. I get it from the farmer's market. It's a wasabi mizuna locally grown in the foothills of Auburn. The cabbage is from the farmer's market. I try to get all my produce from the farmer's market because the fresher the ingredients, the better it's going to taste. Um, I like that a lot. Yeah, and then you have a beautiful yuzu miso for blanc as the sauce. And like I said, the smoked cabbage, some beautiful radishes, and a little bit of cheese over Oh, it's wonderful. You guys enjoy. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. You can smell the char on that, that smoky vibe in there. It's just. It's too pretty to eat. You have the honors, babe. <laughs> it's so pretty. It does look amazing. Oh, tender to the cut. All the different flavors in that. Oh my God. Look at how, how it just breaks apart. So tender. So tender. Mmm. That is really good, Dave. You love cod. I know you love cod. You're gonna really love this. There's a lot of great flavors coming out of that. Very smokiness. Not something I'm used to when it comes to cod. Almost like you just want that buttery tradition when it comes to cod, mm -hmm. but that's amazing. A lot of great flavors coming out. I have to try these locally grown greens here. Kind of farmer's market greens. Mm -hmm. Another dynamite dish. Really pleased with this, and I know you're gonna like this, so. Eat up while it's hot. What would dinner be without dessert, huh? I gotta have it. And what do we got? Chocolate tart. Chocolate tart and a lot of good stuff with a it. A lot of ganache. I think we should dive in together. You think so? How about I get, feed you? Gonna, I'll feed you. No, I'm gonna get you first. I gotta get that reaction. Okay. Go for it. If you insist. Oh, dig, dig in. Just dig in the cup. Just there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. A little bit of this. Oh, he's made, oh. A little bit, I'm grabbing it. Oh, yeah. A little bit of that, here we go. A little of this, a little of that. Down the hatch. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, uh. We are exhausted, y'all. So we'll see you in the morning for the tour. Good night.
my gosh, he is the best. <sighs> Thank you to the best husband in the world who always supplies me with the most important piece of the morning, coffee. And now that we've had our caffeine, I think it's a great opportunity for us to share with you our new home here in the mountains. So if you followed our last episode, you know that we came up to the Lake Tahoe Truckee area to enjoy the holidays in a winter wonderland in a truck camper. Now I'll tell you one thing, although that truck camper is super cool, it is no desert snow when it comes to space. So when Village Camp Outdoor Resorts let us know that we can stay boop, 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 here in their elite mountain cabin, we were all in. So let's get into the tour. So we are gonna work our way from the front to the back, including the cool loft area that they have here. And first, we need to shed a little light on the subject. So, mm, Wingardium Leviosa. That is super cool. Ease and convenience is the way to be. love that feature because you can let all of that natural light in with just a few quick clicks of a few buttons to get that floor to ceiling window, natural light, sunshine coming in. And speaking of the windows, I feel they're like a triple pane window because when they're closed, you can hardly hear any of the sounds from the outside bleeding in. Now behind this custom soft lows drawer cabinet here is not one washer and dryer, but two washer and dryer dual stacks. And after all those fun adventures we had in our truck camper, well, we'll be using this for sure. <laughs> I will say, coming from Desert Snow, I feel like there's so much storage. But there's quite a bit of storage in here as well. And they put them in sort of unique places to make it feel a little bit more fluid, if you will. So I'm sitting in the living room area here and your wood coffee table that you see right here, well, that is storage. And what's in there right now are winter clothes. So it's great use of space for that. But that beautiful sort of uh, custom cabinet that you see or uh, where the entertainment side is, well, that's a lot of storage there as well. So that's where your storage is gonna go from maybe your shoes to some blankets, things like that as well. And one section is designed like a pantry for your silverware, dishes, plates, and things like that. Welcome to the multi-use table. I call this like your office space, which is what we've been using it for, or your kitchen table. And because it has wheels, you can pull this out. You can kind of sit around it, have your dinner, or it can be used as like an island, in my opinion. So you have a little bit of extra counter space for prepping if you're looking to entertain in a small space. What I like about it too is it can actually just tuck away right back in the corner, allowing you to not waste a lot of space. This has to be one of my favorite places in this tiny mountain cabin, and it's the kitchen, because you guys know I love to cook. And I am just gonna start from left to right. I have to tell you, super quiet dishwasher, compact and perfect for this space. Has like a microwave, small enough, perfect for those popcorn nights, which is for heating up something pretty quickly. I love the open cabinet tree here. And one of the biggest reasons why I love that is too many closed cabinets will always make the space feel small and cramped. But having just a little bit of a in-depth shelf, things like that, you can put your plants or flowers. I just think it creates a nice, all voluminous space. This, love it. The spring kind of gooseneck faucet um, in the deep sink. Bing! That's a big plus. Love the butcher block here. I, I love how they supplied this with us. Little Godiva dark sea salt chocolate. We'll be eating that later. And some Tahoe artesian water. The water drinking from the faucet, by the way, just tastes so refreshing. It's like mountain, just spring water. That's what it tastes like. Just fresh and cold. Nice and cold. You got a three burner induction, two small, one. They have a vent, and I love this. You know, some vent hoods don't necessarily vent out. Well, that one vents out, so all that cooking scent and smells just goes right out of your tiny mountain cabin. Oh, but you might be asking, hold on a second. 
Where's the oven? Well, you have right here a convection oven, which is great for this space. I mean, for us, this is something I wish we had in the RV since we don't have an oven. I can do my baking, things like that as well. So now I get creative by using Dutch ovens or cooking out on coals to really kind of create that oven concept. A little bit more prep work, but a lot of fun. Okay, hold on a second. Where's the refrigerator? Well, I think they did a great job on this too. These custom cabinets, so you got storage up here. Then you got your refrigerator here. We have all of our goodies in it, so um, I'll show you that in just a second once I rearrange it, freshen it up. Yep, and a bottom freezer. And speaking of freezer, I, and we both love this weather. Love that we can wear cozy sweaters like this. And I get to bust out my wool Smokey the Bear socks. How cute are those? So I wanna point out something really quick before we move into the next room, which I think is a super cool feature in this tiny cabin. And it's a Lunos system, ventilation system. Each room has two sort of ventilation systems. And what does that do? Well, from my understanding, it actually brings in fresh air, heats that air, and then there's another one that actually sucks out the stale air. So it's constantly circulating fresh air. And then at times it reverses. So the other one will do exactly what the first one did. And it's a connected system that's in each room. So each room will have two of those with the exception of the bathroom which we'll show you which has one big one super cool and it looks like this Let's turn them on let that fresh air begin the bathroom is small but effective it has a large shower which is really nice doesn't have the tub which dave really loves but a shower <laughs> that's power it has a nice full sink the mirror actually lights up at night so you just push the button on the mirror but one of the coolest features in this bathroom outside of the lunos that it has in the shower that purifier we talked about earlier is what's under moppy this right here, y'all, is a warm up. And what it's doing is it has heated floors in here, which I wish we totally had in desert snow. So in those winter cold months when the floor is feeling a little chilly, well, you have heated floors in here. So maybe that might be a, maybe that might be a Christmas present to ourselves next year. Josie is just so nicely. Oh my God, it feels so good. Oh, and before heading up to the master bedroom, I'm gonna show you this here. It says a whole home surge protection. I'm assuming that just means basically if there's anything that's surging through the house, this is to protect every outlet versus having individual ones throughout, but that's pretty cool. Welcome to our master bedroom. It's small, but it's cute and cozy. The queen size bed in here, two nightstands. It also has its own thermostat in here. So there's a thermostat out there controlling that space and a thermostat in here that you can also control this space. Same thing with the Luno systems for that nice circulation of air, which is pretty nice, especially in a smaller room like this. You get that circulation of fresh air. But I will tell you, it's a small, cute closet, drawers. But the best thing in here is this comforter and those pillows it is so cozy you guys like when you lay down i i tell you you almost feel like you just don't want to get up <sighs> i'll see you later mm. Yes, now it is a tiny home, so the stairs are not gonna be the traditional stairs that you get in a normal house. They're a little narrower and a lot steeper. But once you make your way on up here, you're embraced by a cute loft area with two twin beds. There's a little bit of a foot ottoman that's right over there for storage. The comforters are the same as the downstairs master bedroom, so super cozy. The lamp, extra plugs, and I love that sort of mountain feel you get between the coloring, the decor, the headrests, which are kind of that solid wood feel, and the nightstand, which is like almost like a, looks like a, a, a wood trunk. So it's really cool, super cool. Windows on both sides, there's windows back here, but you know, I just, yeah, it's amazing. And I'll have to to tell you one thing if you're tall like dave i would not recommend standing up right babe oh you can't do it you can't do it why just can't you do just it hit your head so you know be it's probably designed for more of the kiddos if you have that or if you're like just young and rambunctious and you're just here to enjoy a good time and you don't mind hitting your head 20 times but hey this is cute see what i mean see what i mean hunchback of notre dame <laughs> And finally, we save the best for last. Going to grab two glasses. Hmm. Number one and number two. 
Yes, a little vino on the deck. Look at that fire, huh? That's uh, pretty sweet, but I gotta say something. The last three nights, it's been really nice being in this mountain cabin, you know, coming from desert snow, which is small. And then obviously from the truck camper, which is even smaller than desert snow. This mountain cabin has felt like a mansion to us. It's so much space, so much luxury amenities. It's been a nice break for us and going into Truckee, getting the Christmas gifts. I am super excited to give Tanya her gifts on Christmas day. I, I think she's going to really love the gifts and she deserves to have just an amazing holiday and Christmas. She, she works so hard. I'm so proud of her. I love her so much. And I really think this is going to be a memory we will cherish for the rest of our lives. Hey. Hey, what do you got, babe? Of course. What do you do on a nice cold night and you have a little fireplace? Well, you have to have some red wine. Okay, now I'm all for that. Yay. So yeah. I am so proud of us for doing this. We needed this break, babe. Uh, I know. It's been amazing. It's been amazing. It's and been I have really to nice. give you a toast to the most incredible husband any woman can ask for. I love you so much. And I'm looking forward to all the wonderful adventures together. I'm so happy we were able to get into that town and to find something because I've been stressing about Christmas gifts. Well, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. I love you so much, I love baby. You so much. Merry You're Christmas. Everything.